Hello, my name is Dante Renee, and welcome to the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more, like tonight's film. This is 1969's Attraction. 1969's Attraction. And this is a movie by Tinto Brass, and it is presented by Radley Metzger. Very, very interesting. And produced by Dino De Laurentiis. The story is by Tinto Brass. Um, and the music is from a band called Freedom. And music is a very big part of this movie. So this is a Radley Metzger presentation of a Tinto Brass film. How interesting to have those two worlds colliding in 1969 here um, with this movie. Now, this is such a unique experience, the way my favorite movies are. My favorite movies are experiences. They're not the typical um, logical linear storyline. They're, they're legit experiences and attraction is definitely one of the best. Now I have some notes here so you're gonna see my eyes divert, but I gotta tell you something here, folks. This is really a unique movie. It's something unlike what you are used to seeing and possibly unlike anything that you have ever seen before. And I have to tell you, it was so daring and original and unique in the way it was presented and done and moving and everything that this is it's dumbfounding how avant-garde this movie actually is. It's surprising. I was sucker punched by it. I wasn't prepared for how avant-garde and experimental this movie experience is. Attraction. Taboo. Love. Romance. The Wandering Eye. Censorship. Music. War. Death. Sex, the female body, magnetism, observation, freedom and slavery, words, images, fantasies, dreams, reality, history, the present, race, rape, fear, and life. Attraction is the most surreal 80-minute experience slash movie, I'm going to say it, that I've ever seen thus far. This is the most surreal that I've ever seen. It's non-linear. There's no dialogue, but dialogue, narration of the inner mind and speech from the other minds or the words of society or doubts and just brain explosion. Every frame of attraction is style. Never seen such a style heavy film before. Deadly Sweet from Tinto Brass is close and I have uh, that review on this YouTube page as well. We have rapid edit imagery, repetition, art pieces, advertisements, different colors, slow motion, still frames, things being sped up, cropped frames, makeup, the same band throughout the film, violent stock footage, and the park. When I say the park, the park is a thematic piece of scenery, a reoccurring piece of scenery, it's seemingly in Tinto Brass's films. Everything is off kilter, artistically, challenging, bizarre, and edgy. It's the story of a girl, and it's the story of the inside of a girl. 
I think of that cramp song, What's Inside a Girl? We have a musical band in a tree. We come full circle in this film in non-linear logic. I've never seen an opening credit sequence like this before. It's a movie where dialogue is not normal. It's a complex style. And the, the style, the complex style, is the movie. Attraction is so... It's, it's shocking that it was, you know, even released, um, you know, in theaters to me. Because it's just so cutting edge, so rebellious, so against the grain, uh, against the grain, against the mainstream. And this movie is filled with music. It says from a band called Freedom. And you can see some imagery here that almost looks like the Beatles in a way. And, you know, the music is, is definitely part of the world of 1969, without a doubt. It says in the front here, it's a psychedelic pop art experience. Definitely. And the music in the film represents that psychedelic pop art experience. You think of a film like Blow Up, you know, from a similar time frame with the photography storyline of the film. And you're almost, you know, entering into similar worlds, but not. There's a connection of realities between Blow Up and Attraction, but not at the same time. I know Radley Metzger presented this film, and I wonder what the connections between Radley Metzger and Tinto Brass, you know, were here. As Radley Metzger had his own uh, sexploitation films and things that he was already doing. And I gotta tell you, it's mighty interesting to have um, just the two of them with Tinto Brass working here. This uh, does not look like or feel like a Tinto Brass film, you know, from the 80s, let's say, or the 90s, or the millennium. Um, of course, you can see Tinto Brass, but this is the early Tinto Brass uh, in the Deadly Sweet world. But this one, by far, is completely off the rails and helps expand the definition of what a movie can be. Thank you so much for watching the Ten Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more, like 1969's Attraction. It says on the back here from Cult Epics, one of the great taboo sm uh, smashers of the late 60s, directed by Tinto Brass, featuring interracial affairs, anti-Vietnam statements, violence versus sex. It will stun anyone expecting a standard softcore European sex flick. It was originally released in the U.S. as the artful penetration of Barbara. There's nothing like this movie. Thank you so much, and please feel free to check out my own personally made films at www.vimeo.com slash poopy diarrhea. You can follow me there and check out all my new film releases and such. Thank you so much and good night.